It's me again. Just wanted to clarify some additional points, some things that we talked about and clarification of others. So, number one, designated patient representative. This is a person who is not just next of kin in case the patient can't speak for themselves. This is actually somebody who, in addition to the patient, needs to be notified and needs to be designated by the patient to be a part of the plan of care. So, for example, you have Mr. Jones. He can designate Mrs. Jones as his representative, and then they both need to be given all of the information that was alluded to in the presentation. If Mr. Jones wants to designate Aunt Sissy, that's across the country, she needs to be mailed that information. Now, the patient can decline to give a patient representative, but if they do give one, they are to be given all the information we spoke about. So just a point of clarification. Uh, timing of discharge and transfer summaries. So they need to go out in two days, not be finished in two days. So that means they need to be finished the day of and submitted so that they can go through quality and then be sent out the following day. So this is a, a, a big change to time, uh, you know, timing of these OASIS time points. So just so you know, the discharge and transfer summaries will need to be completed within 24 hours so that they can be checked and then sent out. Um, clarification of home health aid supervision frequency. It's 28 days, not 30, and that was my error. I confess, but just so you know, um, it makes sense. If you're going to do something every 14 days, then it doesn't really, 14 and 14 is not 30. So um, date and time entry for physician orders. Um, there is no prompting in the, um, our electronic medical record to enter the time. Now, there may be something that comes down the pike, but right now that is not there. So you have to actually remember to enter the time. And that is the time that the order was taken. So you call Dr. Smith and you want an order for Tylenol and you talk to him at 5.06 p.m. You're entering 5.06 p.m. with that order. Required case manager next step. So for all case managers, you do need to click on the link that was provided towards the end of the presentation and actually watch um, the access uh, videos that are connected. And the link is also provided on this slide. Um, follow the link, watch the videos, and read the contents. This will be very helpful to you. I know it's a lot of information, but if you become more familiar with it, it won't be as daunting. And some of these things actually do make it a little easier. It's a click and a filling in a required field instead of you writing a separate documentation somewhere else. Um, so log into Access. Um, accessing this link and watching these is going to be a requirement as case managers. So please uh, follow along and check it out. Um, and that's all I got. Talk to you later.